My name is Matt Cohen. I'm the CEO of Off the Grid uh, and our community response program, Food Responders. Mm -hmm. uh, Off the Grid's Food Responder program is Off the Grid's effort to try and help local communities by empowering local restaurants and food service businesses to meet the needs of emergency response in their local community. In responding to fires in 2017, we saw that typically large response organizations use large food entities that can actually harm local restaurants and food communities in their effort of trying to support emergency response. So Off the Grid thought we could do better by empowering local restaurants to serve that need. So local restaurants, caterers, pop-ups, cottage food, businesses should consider joining our food responder program, uh, mainly because it's an opportunity to help uh, support your local community during a time of trauma or crisis. Uh, these are your customers, these are your friends, these are your neighbors, and what better way to be participating and helping them all than by helping to serve them food that's delicious at a time uh, that might be uh, traumatic for them. Off the Grid's Food Responder Program supports local businesses in the event of a disaster primarily through being able to maintain revenue during a time of emergency so that you can continue to employ your, uh, your employees, uh, so that you can continue to make food purchases, uh, and ultimately get back on your feet faster once uh, the emergency subsides. Off the Grid's Food Responder Program uh, is really flexible in terms of meeting the needs of residents who are impacted by uh, an emergency. So we can go and serve food uh, at uh, shelters, uh, it, it should people be at a congregate shelter, uh, and serve hundreds or thousands of meals there. Uh, or uh, we can actually take food and deliver the food directly to hotels uh, in the event that people are sheltered in hotels. Mainly we, what we want to do is bring a sense of delicious comfort to people who are in the midst of maybe one of the more traumatic times in their lives. We've helped in floods, uh, we've helped in response to COVID uh, and helping uh, people stay isolated during the time of COVID. Uh, but primarily and uh, kind of most broadly, we've helped support wildfire relief uh, when people are evacuated uh, from their homes. One of the great things about Off the Grid is the variety of food available through our network of food creators and responders. So uh, again, what we want to do with our food responder program is meet the needs of a local community in a way that is culturally aligned with that community's tastes and desires. And so uh, the flexibility of our program and our portfolio of people who are food responders uh, offers us the ability to meet all different sorts of culinary needs, uh, from Latinx communities to uh, Black-owned businesses to Asian-owned businesses. Uh, we really try and run the gamut of as many tastes as we can in order to meet as many needs as we possibly can. The requirements to join the food responder program are pretty straightforward. Uh, we need the licenses for your restaurant, your insurance, and your menu information. From there, we can work with you on specifics about what you can do or what you'll need to do in order to be able to respond. Uh, but we aim to be as specific and flexible as we can to meet you where you are and help you support your community. The benefits of joining Off the Grid's food responder program uh, most important is the ability to serve the needs of your local city, neighborhood, uh, community. These are your friends, your neighbors, uh, and you're able to jump in and immediately be able to support them during a time of crisis. Um, also, uh, in the midst of an emergency, oftentimes food businesses immediately have a financial impact where their customers are unable to get to them and uh, they uh, experience crisis themselves in a different way, which is financial crisis. 
Uh, off the Grid's food responder program immediately allows uh, restaurants to be able to start generating revenue and be, get, be able to get back on their feet more quickly. Uh, and overall, that's a net positive to the entire community. If you've ever been around a wildfire community, for instance, in the midst of an emergency, uh, the environment doesn't necessarily incline customers to want to go outside and go to their favorite restaurants. Uh, routines are disrupted, roads are shut down, there's smoke that can be super thick that's unhealthy to go outside. So what can happen is that your customers are no longer able to get to you and that can cause you a financial impact that can be hard to recover from. Off the Grid's Food Responder Program aims to try and support you through that time period by helping you to meet those financial needs, to maintain your employees, continue buying food, and also be able to help people and bring a sense of comfort to those who might have been uh, uh, really uh, negatively impacted by some sort of crisis. The, the other thing about the Food Responder Program that I think is important to mention is that we are interested in working with the smallest businesses possible. Um, those businesses are also the most at risk during a time of crisis. So uh, any way that we can help to support local, small, unique food businesses and help to sustain them through a time of emergency uh, is really important for us uh, and something that we're really proud of. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich doesn't necessarily do the best job of comforting. Off the Grid's Food Responder Program aims to help bring a sense of comfort through food to those people who have had or experienced loss in a really powerful way that um, can meet them where they are culturally, can provide a sense of nourishment in a way that uh, an MRE or a ready-to-eat meal wouldn't necessarily. Um, and overall, hopefully brings them a sense of returning to a normal in a way that wouldn't be there otherwise through a traditional emergency response feeding program. Mm -hmm.